Hey everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about what to expect when visiting Acadia National Park in Maine. Acadia National Park is located along the Atlantic coast of Northeast Maine and is one of the top 10 most visited parks in the United States. This is a beautiful park full of sandy beaches, a rocky coastline, and stunning mountain views. Acadia is an incredible park, and there are just a few things to keep in mind when planning your trip. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Our subscribers help shape our future adventures. If you stick around until the end of the video, we'll discuss our own trip to Acadia National Park. Let's get started. Know before you go. Acadia National Park encompasses several islands off the coast of Maine. Mount Desert Island is the largest island off the coast of Maine and the central part of the park. But Acadia also includes the Scudic Peninsula, the Isle Ajo, and many smaller outer islands. From May through October, all visitors must have a park entrance pass that can be purchased for $30 per vehicle. All vehicles must display a park entrance pass visible through the windshield. Park rangers do check periodically to make sure cars have their passes displayed. There are several entrance points into the park, so you'll want to make sure you stop off and purchase an entrance pass before you start exploring. Acadia National Park is a dog-friendly national park. All dogs must be leashed at all times and are not allowed on cliff trails and ladder trails. Also, dogs are not permitted on public beaches from May to September. As I mentioned at the top of the video, Acadia National Park is one of the top 10 most visited national parks in the United States. While there are parts of the park that are open year-round, a vast majority of the park visitors come between the months of May to September. With the three summer months, June, July, and August being absolutely jam-packed. The summer months tend to be busier because of the guarantee of warmer weather in the 70s and 80s. But the month of May, as well as mid-September, can be great times to visit the park and still have warmer temps with fewer crowds. October and November will be much cooler, but are prime for leaf peeping season. Acadia is a large park, so we would recommend three to four days for a visit, especially in the summer months. We only did two days and would have loved more time to explore this amazing park. Acadia National Park is the only national park in the state of Maine. Things to do. Hiking. Hiking is one of the best ways to experience Acadia National Park. There are over 150 miles of hiking trails in Acadia, and they have everything from summit hikes to coastal hikes to lake and forest hikes. There's a hike for every skill level and desired terrain. The Beehive and the Precipice Trails are more strenuous and are for experienced hikers. We enjoyed the Great Head Trail, which we started at Sand Beach. It's a rocky hike, but affords beautiful views of the main coastline. Park Loop Road. Park Loop Road is a 27 mile one-way loop that winds you through the park. If you're making a quick trip to the park, you can see many beautiful sights right from your car. You can stop off and visit popular spots like Sand Beach and Thunder Hole, and then hop back in the car and drive to your next stop. Sand Beach. Sand Beach is one of the most popular beaches in the entire park. This sandy beach has incredible views of cliffs lined with evergreens, and it's easily accessed from Park Loop Road. We thoroughly enjoyed our time at the beach, even in October. On the eastern side of the beach, we headed up Great Head Trail for a little hiking and an incredible view of the beach below. Jordan Pond. You can stroll through the evergreens and hike right along Jordan Pond on the Jordan Pond Nature Trail. Or you can stop at the Jordan Pond House for some of their signature popovers. We recommend getting there early in the morning because the wait time for the restaurant can be very long. We had to skip the popovers on our trip because the park was busy when we visited and we didn't want to waste any time in the rest of the park. Scudic Point. Scudic Point is located on the Scudic Peninsula area of the park. The Scudic Peninsula is the only part of Acadia National Park that's connected to the mainland. Scudic Point offers up beautiful views of the Atlantic Ocean and we feel it's a must visit when in Acadia. Keep in mind that it does take about an hour drive from the Scudic Peninsula over to the rest of the park on Mount Desert Island. Cadillac Mountain. Cadillac Mountain is the tallest mountain on the East Coast. And from October to March, it's the first place you can see the sunrise in the United States. We went for sunset and could not believe how beautiful the views were. You can see the entire park all around you and the sunset glow makes it even more spectacular. Although sunrise and sunset are the most popular times to visit, any time of day will be beautiful on top of Cadillac Mountain. You do need to reserve a time slot for when you visit Cadillac Mountain, so remember to do that before heading to the park. 
Where to stay? Inside Acadia National Park, there are two campgrounds on Mount Desert Island, one campground on the Scudic Peninsula, and five lean-to shelters on Isle of Hope. The Scudic Woods Campground, Black Woods Campground, and the Seawall Campground all allow for tent camping and RV camping. These park campgrounds fill up fast, so be sure to book in advance. There are several camping options outside of Acadia all over the Mount Desert Island area. We camped at the Mount Desert Campground and had a fantastic experience. Bar Harbor is the closest town to Acadia National Park and offers numerous hotel and rental options. This area is incredibly popular and hotels can fill up fast and tend to be a bit more expensive. The Bar Harbor Inn and Spa and the Harborside Hotel Marina and Spa are among the high-end hotels in the area. There are also motels, bed and breakfasts, and a few chain options in Bar Harbor. Tremont and Trenton are also options for smaller inns, bed and breakfasts, and rental opportunities. Ellsworth is about a half an hour away from the park and has several chain hotels and campgrounds. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we're now going to discuss our own trip to Acadia National Park. So what makes Acadia National Park different from other national parks? What makes Acadia unique to me is the fact that in comparison to other national parks, the boundaries are a little different. You go to a lot of different parks and you say, okay, the boundaries here, you're in the park, you're out of the park. In Acadia, you could be driving around, you'll see houses and little towns, you'll see a golf course here or there. And it's really about kind of the coast of Maine, how they appreciate the nature in that area. Obviously, Mount Desert Island is kind of very unique with the height that you have with Cadillac Mountain. You have the Scudic Peninsula, which is a beautiful part of the park, but you know, there's a research center there, and then another part of the park is out on the island. So it's not necessarily a park where the borders are very well defined, and I think that makes it different. I think for me, this was the first time that we went to a dog-friendly national park, and we could actually bring our dog with us on the trip. And in some ways, it made the trip that much more fun because we could bring him along hiking with us, and we were there in October, so we got to bring him down onto Sand Beach I I think in some ways bringing your dog could also be a challenge because you can't do some of the tougher hikes or if you want to go find a place to eat, having a dog kind of makes that a challenge. But I absolutely loved being able to explore a national park with our best friend, Howie. If you want to see more from Maine, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next 